A man identified as Wesley Ryan, 47, received the shock of his life after his children surprised him with his favorite car, a white 1993 Ford Mustang GT, which he sold 17 years ago to help settle the medical bills of his wife who was suffering from ovarian cancer. His children, Jake and Jenny, decided to surprise him with the car as a reward for the sacrifice he made for their mother 17 years ago. According to Jake, selling the car was the greatest sacrifice his father made for the family seeing as the vehicle was really dear to him. He said, one of the biggest sacrifices I've seen him have to make for us, for all of us. I know how much it broke him in half seeing that car drive away from him. A day I'll never forget, Wesley was very touched by the gesture that he broke down in tears after the car was presented to him at a departmental store. The touching moment was captured on video. You can watch the full video. The 47-year-old man revealed that he felt very proud of his children and that it proves that they were raised properly. He said, shows where they are, they are balanced human beings. My wife and I have succeeded, we've raised productive adults, it's the strongest, most powerful feeling that a parent can have. Interestingly, the car seller was selling it off to help raise funds for her mother who was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, and they needed the money for treatment. Earlier reported that a lady took to social media to suggest that DNA tests should be mandatory at birth. Following several reports of broken marriages in Nigeria due to infidelity and paternity fraud issues, the need for DNA testing has become a constant thing of debate. A Nigerian lady identified as Destiny, has taken to social media to share her opinion on the issue. According to her, the need for DNA testing should be made mandatory as many women are destroying lives by lying about the real fathers of their children. Sharing reports that backed her point, she stated that Nigerian women are the most unfaithful. NAIJ Comedy Show EP3 Meeting My Father-in-Law, Source